wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build this bridge house. A bridge house like this one, with its multiple stories and turrets, is a really unique way to make use of a build that goes over water. With its timber framing, this build would be a perfect addition to a town or it would be a great base in a medieval or Tudor style world. I'll show you how to go about building this and then how to adapt it to fit your terrain. So let's get building. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Keep in mind it's always useful to have a few extra of each supply on hand to make it easier when building. Here is the outline for the bridge house. Each of the towers has a 7x7 seven seven square base, which is spaced 7 blocks apart. We're going to start by working on these foundation pieces. It's important to keep in mind that for this build, I'll be starting building from this level here. So I'll have terraformed out a space around like this when I start building. And then I'll build up to that ground height with some more stone bricks to complete a foundation level ready to start building. Then once I've got the foundation of the towers in, I can go ahead and add in my grass blocks again to terraform the space around it. So starting from that terraform space, we're going to begin by filling in the floor for these foundations. I'm using polished andesite blocks here, or you could use slabs if you're in survival, and I'm filling in both towers. The bases here are going to be symmetrical, so whatever we do to one, we're going to be doing on the other. We'll then take stone brick and build up too high all the way around each of these outlines. Like that. I'm going to build up another three high, one, two, three, on the two side walls, so not the front and back. And over here as well. Then I'm going to skip a block and build up three high, one, two, three, and skip a block and build up three high, and that'll leave me with three gaps. In the two outermost gaps, I'll add a stair at the top and the bottom, and an iron bar in between. And then in the center gap, I'll have a stair at the top and bottom, and a chiseled stone brick in between. Then I'm going to grab some oak trapdoors, and underneath the ones where we have windows, I'll add in a trapdoor there. So you can see it's directly on the block below the stair. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here on the other tower now. Now I need to create some archways to connect these two towers for the bridge. I'm going to start by creating the centre one, counting three blocks in from either side. I'll build a 2x2 two two square on either tower with my stone bricks and connect these across the top. I'll then add in some stone brick slabs, and to finish off this archway I'll add in two stairs. So we should have a nice smooth curve like this. Now for the outwards facing arches, we want to have the same shape but a bit more decorative. So I'll start by placing in a stair, then a block, then a stair, stair, block, stair, and then finally a chiseled stone brick in between. I'll add two blocks coming in and then a slab here and here and finish off with two stairs. So you can see it's the same curve but with a bit more decor. And I'm going to do the same thing on this other side just so it faces out again. Next I'm going to fill in these two gaps with some stone brick slabs just at this top height like this. I'm also going to take some ladders and add in my way to get down into each of these areas. 
I'm going to add a stripped dark oak log on each of the corners here. And as well as that, I'll count five across. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, I'll add in another post coming up. One, two, three, four, five. Here and here. So that should leave you with a seven wide gap in between. I'm going to connect them up along the sides with some more of these stripped dark oak logs. And I'll add a trapdoor above my ladder. For the road, I'm going to use a mixture of dead brain coral, tube coral blocks, and mossy cobblestone and regular cobblestone. So I'm just going to put these in a random texturized pattern filling in this whole area. It's up to you what proportion of each of these supplies you use. You can always go back in and remove some of the blocks and move them around until you get a look you're happy with. With that filled in, I've got some more of these stripped dark oak logs. I'm going to build up five high, one, two, three, four, five, starting in one corner here. I'll then count over two blocks and build up another five high, and then two blocks again and build up another five high. And I'm going to do this coming in from each edge. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and over two, and here as well. So we've got a frame like this. I'm then going to connect them along the top edge. And in the outermost walls, I'm going to fill them in entirely with white wool. Now for these leftover panels, I'm going to place two iron bars next to the middle post and then surround the rest with the white wool. Next I'm going to take some more of the stripped dark oak logs and connect up these horizontal beams like this. On the left side section I'll then build out three blocks from this post and three blocks from here. Then one block away from this beam I'm going to add in another beam. I'm going to have some logs coming out from the joins in these logs going all the way around as well as two blocks across here. Then I'll find the center and then add some logs going in between all of these like this. Over on this side I'm going to do the same thing having my logs come out from two block gaps like this. And then connect them down the center. So you can see we've kind of created a lattice when looking from the top and we're ready to get adding the next story on. Working on this left side first I'm going to fill in these two gaps here at the top level with some dark oak slabs so you can see the beams sticking out from below. Then I'll fill in all these other gaps using dark oak planks. Over on this other side, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to leave a gap here to add in my ladder. Filling them in with the planks. I'll then build up five high, one, two, three, four, five, two blocks apart all the way around this square. There we go. On the front and back sides, I'll fill in four blocks high using my white wool. And I can connect over the top with the beams. While I'm at it, I'll also connect the other posts. 
Now on this side that is facing outwards from the build, I'm going to add in two windows. These are central to the middle post and I'll surround with white wool. I'm just using plain glass panes here, like this. Then on the side that faces towards the center of the bridge, we're going to leave a gap for the doorway here. But then on this side, we're going to add in another window. And while I'm at it, I can go down here and add a ladder going all the way up this wall and up the next wall as well, ready to reach the third story of this tower. For the third story, I'm gonna grab these stripped dark oak logs and create some beams like this and then fill in the rest of the floor using my dark oak planks. Of course, leaving that gap there for the ladder. I'm gonna create gables now on the front and back sides. So I'll build up two high here, one, two, two high here, one, two, and then eight high in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One block above the bottom of the level here, I'm gonna add in my two high windows on either side of the central post. And I can fill in the bottom here with some white wool. I'm then going to build up three high, one, two, three. So I'm going up in a step of two and then going over the top of my window like that. And then I'll have two and two to finish off that wall. And I'll do this at the back as well. On the outer facing side of this bridge, I'm going to add in two white wool like this, and then I'm going to create a small gable window here. So I'm gonna build up four high, one, two, three, four, with my stripped dark oak logs on either side. Then I'll add in a white wool at the bottom, two glass panes, and then three white wool on top, like that. Then on the other side of this roof, I'm just going to bridge across using my white wool to complete the walls. We're going to start out creating a similar sort of gable over here on this other side now. So I'm going to come down here and build up two high on either side with my dark oak logs. We're going to be having a doorway on this level that lines up with this one. So I'm going to build up eight high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to create a central post. And then instead of having a window here, I'll leave a two block gap for my door. On this side, however, we will have a window. So I'll add in my glass and surround it like this with white wool. And I'm just going to mirror the shape to create the nice gable point on that side. Then I can go ahead and add in my two white wool to finish that off. I'll go ahead and create the same gable shape on this side. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now that I've got my blocks to render in, I'm going to add in my two glass panes on either side, surround them with white wool, and finish off the gable point. Now this particular roof is going to have a few extra gables here and here, as well as a tower on one side. So let's add those in. I'm going to count one block over and build up four high. One, two, three, four. And I'll add two extra logs on here to bring it to four high. I'll add a white wool, two glass panes, and then three white wool again to finish it off like this. And I'll do the same thing on the back side of the build. One, two, three, four. One, two, and fill in the wall. Now for this tower, I'm gonna come over. I'm on the back side of the build now, and I've come to this other gable. I'm going to count one block over and build up two high so that these two are level. I'll then add 13 blocks on top of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is a very tall tower. One block down from the top, I'm going to add a beam going across and I can fill in the top section there with some white wool. Coming back down to the bottom of the tower, I'll build up three high, one, two, three with wool. Then I'll have a two high window, three again with wool and a two high window and I can fill in the rest of the wall with wool. Then we'll rotate round to the side where we have our gable. I'm gonna build up four high, one, two, three, four like this with some wool and then one out to the side. 
A build up on top of this wool here to meet up with the same height of the post and connect that up. We have a window on this side as well so I'll add that in, it's two blocks high. And then I can fill in this gap with some more white wool. And finally I'll top off the top with a white wool. I'll then come around to this side and I'm going to build two across here coming from this wool block with my logs. I'll build up to the same height again. I'll add my beams connecting and my wool at the very top. I'll fill in this wall completely and then I'll build down from the top all the way down to the ground here. Next I can build two high to join these walls across here. I'm going to then fill in this gap with some wool as well. And I'm going to take a few more logs now and have them coming out of the joins at the top of the tower. as well as around the joins between the beams on this level here. Here's how the base of our build should be looking. Now we're going to get started working on the roofs. Before we go in with the actual bricks, I'm going around between these joins with the posts to add in these dark oak slabs. You can see I'm adding them at the top level here all the way around this part of the build. I'll add them on this story here. And then on this story here. Now we're ready to move on to the bricks. I'm going to start by working on this section where we have the gable joining in. I'll be placing brick stairs in front of each of the log posts here. Then I'll add a decorated pot in between. You can use any pattern, but I've got this one with a map here. We're going to do this on the back gable as well for the little dormer window. And then we can go ahead and move on to the large section of the roof. So we are going to be following along the shape created by the gable, ignoring the fact that we've got this small dormer sticking out on this side. So we're going to be going block, stair, block, stair, and you can see we're going up in groups of two here. Block, stair, block, stair, and then finally two blocks on the top. Then for this gable, we're going to start with a group of stairs. So that'll be here. And I'll be placing these underneath as well. Then we'll have a block and a stair. And I'll move these so they connect up to the main roof. And then we have two groups of blocks on the top. So it connects up like this and I'm just going to move back and forth between these roofs to make sure that everything is meeting up correctly. So let's move these blocks along this way then we have a row of stairs next then we have a row of blocks and a row of stairs and these can wrap around and connect onto the small dormer window. We have a row of blocks next and a row of stairs which once again wrap around the corner. Row of blocks. And we're almost at the top of the roof so I can add in my last row of blocks. So that's one side done. Let's go ahead and do the other side which we're going to do just the same thing but this time we have the tower to keep in mind. So we'll start by creating our outline with blocks and stairs going up like this. Then I'm going to work on joining it up to this side of the gable. Then I'll start filling in this gap next. So we've got blocks coming along the front here. And we've got a row of stairs. Then we've got blocks and wrapping around and you can see I'm just running in the side of the tower now. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and continue the pattern on on the other side of the tower as if it wasn't even there. And I can go and create the full outline going up the side of the build and you can see now that it looks like the tower is sticking out of the roof. Let's fill in the rest of this gap. And here's how this side looks. I'll then come underneath here and I'm going to be adding stairs coming up 
underneath the roof just to give it a cleaner look to the edge. I'm also going to grab some more of these stripped dark oak logs and build out two blocks. I'll do this for the smaller dormer windows as well. Let's move over to this roof next. I'm going to start again by connecting up this bit of the roof here. I'll add my two stairs in front of these posts and the decorated pot. And once again we'll be going up with layers of blocks and stairs. If you're enjoying today's video and would like to access some awesome benefits like world downloads for this and other builds, and access to a multi-world server to play with other Minecrafters, check out my Patreon. I'd love to have your support and join my community. I'll go ahead and add in my stripped dark oak logs coming out of here, and then I'll build up too high with my bricks. And remember, this is going to connect up to the roof behind it. Finally, I'll finish off the main roof with some bricks at the top. Let's work up the other side now. And for this, we don't have to worry about any extra gables joining on. So we'll just go ahead and build between the bricks and the stairs. And once again to finish off this roof, I'll build out with my stripped dark oak logs and then add the stairs underneath for a cleaner look. Let's take a step back and look at these roofs. With those in place, let's now work on the tower. For this roof, I'm going to start with my bricks and I'm going to create little kind of squares like this with a gap missing in the center on all of the sides. Now you could leave these empty, but I'm going to put barrels in here. I think it's a great way to have some hidden storage up in the very top of this tower. Just like this. I'm going to place a block in front of here with the stair going in front of the gap or the barrel. It'll have stairs going off to either side. Coming up the tower, I'll place in four blocks and four stairs. And you could have another barrel in the very top here. I'll add in two bricks on top of here and then two brick walls. We're going to be adding a few more slabs, but we need to add some fences first. I've got some dark oak fences here and I'm going to add these in front of each of the posts. While I'm at it, I'll also add some dark oak slabs in these gaps here. Now I can go ahead and use my brick slabs and just place them around following the shape of the point of this tower. We're going to start adding the decorations to this tower now. I'm going to start by going with some more fences down the side of this tower. I'm also going to add these in front of the posts with the gable windows. And don't forget this one over here as well. I'm going to come down to the build neck, bottom of the build next and add in some stripped dark oak logs from each of these joins. I'm then going to have dark oak stairs facing in towards each other and then slabs in between. And then for the central one, I'll have a stair, a slab and then three dark oak trapdoors. Over to the other side to do the same thing. Now 
underneath each of the posts, excluding in here where we're going to be having some railing, I'm going to be placing in a stair at the top and the bottom, and then two fences in between. So that's going to be on this lower story here at the front and the back and over here, as well as on this top story. So I'll go ahead and start adding in all of those all the way around the build. I'm also going to come to the either side of the build and add in some beams coming out from here and add in this same stair pattern with the fences. I'll also create little archways on this log level here and I'll use some trapdoors as well. So it should look like that. Let's go over to the other side of the build and do the same thing. Now I'm going to work on the join between these two builds. We're going to create some little arches coming out from here. I'll start by placing a stair with a slab on top. Then I'll use either two slabs or a block here and then a final slab. I'll also add a fence below that. Then on the other side, I'll add in a stair and two fences. I'm also going to come up to this gable here and I'm going to add fences in the corners and then a stair at the top and the bottom with fences in between. And I'm going to do the same decoration on all these large gables. Let's work on these window decorations next. For all of the windows on the build, we're going to be having slabs below like this. We'll be using some oak trap doors for window shutters and then a pot in front of the window. So I'll go and add these to all of the windows, of course, except for the ones on the tower where we don't have quite as much room to work with. We'll be doing something a little bit different there. But I'm also going to include these lower windows where we have the iron bars instead of the glass. Last two pots, there we go. Let's work on the other windows now. I'm going to add a flower pot inside of each of the decorated pots in the dormer windows. That way we can actually plant something there. Over to the tower next. For this, I'll just place a slab above and below and then a pot on the lower slab. that. Now over to work on these doorways. I'm going to be placing decorated pots with a flower pot inside on either side. I'll then use temporary blocks to place in dark oak trapdoors like this and then a dark oak slab in between. I'll create railing using the oak trapdoors and I'll also place oak trapdoors above each doorway. I'm going to be using spruce doors for this build and I'm placing them from inside each of my rooms so that way they open outwards like this and they're kind of set back giving more of a door frame look. Moving down to the bottom of the build now, I'm going to create the same archways we have over there with the stair and the trap doors. And I want to add in some gates here. I'm going to go across with some granite walls and place two here and then I'll place in some lightning rods. To really enhance the look of this gate, I'm going to line myself up with where it is and break out this row in the floor. I can then add in some smokers and you can see it looks like the gate is going to close into those gaps. I'm going to have a gate on either side of my bridge. gate mechanism, I'm going to hang down a rhinestone from this part of the roof, then I'll hang some chains a couple lengths down. I'll then have the chains going across the roof at three blocks, and I'll add a lever and flick it like this so you can see it looks like a mechanism. And don't forget to add one to both sides. 
You'll need to hold crouch to click the chains onto the grindstone. I'm also going to put some lanterns in. They're going to hang here and here. Let's add a few more lanterns in. I'm going to hang some a few chain lengths down from each of the large gables. As well as from the small dormer windows. You don't have to hang them an even number of chain lengths down each time, just the way you think they look good. And one over here as well. Let's create some railing next for this part of the bridge. So I'm going to find the center and place a wall in there, then have chisel stone bricks coming off to either side. I'll have walls on either end and stairs facing in, and then I'll finish off with two stone brick slabs. Let's do that again for this side. Next, I'm going to make some banners. Just a white banner and I'm going to do two brown crosses onto the banner like that. And anywhere where I have these empty panels on the build, I'll place rows of three like this going up. This gives it that wood paneling effect that you see in Tudor style builds. You can see what a big difference this makes to the detail in the build. It really does look great. Take a step back and make sure I haven't missed any panels. And we are ready for the final step which is decorating, so let's get to it. Now an important step in the decorating process for this build is connecting the bridge part of this bridge house to the road that your bridge is connected to. So I'm going to start for this shallower side with a row of slabs and I'm going to be placing slabs underneath too just to make the road look a little bit more robust. Then I've got a row of blocks and then I've got some cobblestone slabs again and I'll make these too thick. I've only got a little ways to go here so I want it to have a nice gradual curve. Now for some edging I'm going to add some dark oak slabs and I'll be placing these so a little bit of the cobblestone sticks out from below and they sit a little bit above the cobblestone here. And then I think I'm going to finish off with some stripped dark oak logs. I'm going to place one here and over here as well. And to decorate it a bit more, I'm going to add on these walls and lanterns. And to tie it in with the build up there, I'm going to add in some of these oak trapdoors here and here. Now let's work on the other side. Now your landscape might be a little bit different to mine, so I'm going to be showing you this shallower one as well as a more steep curve and you can make any adjustments to these little joins you need. If, for example, you have a really wide river, you could make these sections a bit longer to join onto the land. Okay, let's start this curve the same way with a row of slabs. Then a row of blocks. And I think I'm going to have one more row of slabs. To create this nice curve from here, I'm going to switch to some stairs now. So let's see how we can do this. Let's go with a row of stairs and I might replace the slabs underneath this side with some stairs for a nice smooth curve. This part of the build can just take a little bit of muddling around until you find a look that works for your landscape. I'll then come underneath with a few more stairs and let's take a step back and look at this curve. That works nicely and it meets up with my road and I can always adjust my road to fit in with this curve if it doesn't quite fit in the space that I think it would need. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the edging and once again I'll start with some slabs. Then let's go with a log and we've got the slabs and we'll finish off with a log at the end. As on the other side, I'll add in some walls and lanterns and finish off with some trapdoors. Let's take a step back and look at this side and the whole bridge together. There we go, I've turned on shaders and you can really see how stunning this build looks. To decorate it, I've gone ahead and draped some spruce leaves over it and this just helps to give it a more natural lived in appearance. And I've placed it here in a forest over my little river and it really does look like a wonderful place to stop on an adventure. I've gone with a mixture of red flowers, white flowers and then greenery in all my pots. 
and this gives a more cohesive colour scheme throughout the build. I've also got a few hints of blue and that ties in with the beautiful blue of the water. I've built a small boat that can go through the bridgeway and this really helps tell the story of this build. As for the landscape around it, I've created a road that trails off to other areas and other builds. So you could put this in a town or maybe in between two towns or two places in your world. And then to tie the build in with surroundings, I've used the same materials from the build to create some lighting. So this build really can be placed on any waterway. You're probably going to want your river to be at least seven blocks wide because that's the width of our bridge, but it can be even wider or you could even have this sitting completely on the water and use these sections of the bridge to connect up to the land. If you're having trouble terraforming the ground around it to start building this build, you could always start by digging out the mountain completely all the way down to the flat surface level with the water. Then once you've built your build, you can grab your blocks again and go back in to add back in the mountain. And I always think it looks really attractive to have some of the ground coming in and in front of the build itself. So now you have a fabulous bridge house, a way to get over water and a great place to live. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you consider liking and subscribing and check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me further. I'd love to have you join my community. See you in another video.